Hey guys, this is just a quick overview of the features of this overhead molly panel for the second gen. And if you haven't seen the installation of this accessory yet, I'll link that down in the description below. So we'll start with, obviously we got the LED panel lights up top here, and we have this custom bracket for the thermometer, ambient thermometer and the compass outside. And these nuts, these hook nuts are added features that you can tack on to your order. But what this does is it doubles as mounting points for hooking something on, but it also makes it easy for removal of this if you want to add in your accessories. So let's do that now. So we'll start with adding the accessories towards the front of the truck. So we'll do that by undoing these nuts by hand because typically they would come with flange nuts and these hook nuts make it so much easier for removal without a tool. So we'll remove these, we'll undo one of these towards the rear, undo these spacers and we'll also undo this one in the front. We'll probably be able to get away with just loosening this front piece. So all we need really is to access the front area here. And I think I'll actually put this, this one back just slightly. So I can stick my finger right behind the front here. And these ball mounts are also available in my store. These are the uh, ball mounts, the flow mount accessory. So we take our bolt and we just fish it underneath here like this. So we can install the ball mounts. I'm just going to use my finger in the front to hold that bolt back as I screw this in. And technically, as long as you can reach the back side of this with your finger like this, should be snug enough. Tighten that down. We'll do the same thing. Let's say I'll I'll push this one further back in, like in this general area here. So let's uh I guess I'll have to loosen this one a little bit more. Oops. Put this one like right here. Then I'll put this one back. So these are loose. I'll put another ball mount here. Hold this one in the back with the finger. There we go, that's pretty tight. And I'll show you how you can put the stuff in the back a little bit later. But the ones in the front will require you to loosen these two and completely undo the front side here. So, we'll put these back. Now that we have these ball mounts in the front, it allows us to mount anything really. So we'll start with this one to my left. All right, so that's tight. Tighten these one up to you while we're at it. And you definitely want to check the tightness of these nuts periodically. Now let's say you want to mount a, some type of dash cam or any type of trail cameras really. You can get one of these guys. This is a ram mount, ball mount. And you can pair that with my GoPro mount. The GoPro mount will be sold in my store. So you can do something like this. You wanna have something, I don't know, this ridiculous where you kinda see uh, the front of the truck. Mount this GoPro right there. Or if you're 
blogging on the trail, you have it just like that, pointed towards you as you're driving. So that's pretty cool. And then, this is actually another accessory that I'm going to upgrade my light system with. This is the aux beam electronics controller, really, is what it is. So, not something like that. It's not in my line of sight when I'm looking at the rear view mirror, so it's still out of the way. And you can actually feed this in one of the holes like this to make it somewhat clean. And all the wires, you can zip tie across this portion of the ribs to keep all your wiring clean. And as I mentioned, I have future plans for these loose wires. So I currently do have them just hanging out. And that's that's pretty cool. You know, I'm pretty happy with this. And if I'm not happy with this placement, I'll just move those ball mounts elsewhere in these slots. There's so many possibilities when it comes to customizing your system just the way you like it. And last, this is actually one of the new accessories that was requested by one of you guys. This is specifically for Diego. Diego Martinez, uh, Lord of Spicy Tacos. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. I did highlight his truck in this channel and uh, I can link that down below too. So this one, we can actually mount more accessories here towards the back without having to undo it. So we get our bolt. Let's say we want to mount this accessory here towards the back. We'll get that bolt through, hold that back portion of the bolt with your finger. Then we'll start kind of assembling this piece here. We got this knob, tighten that down. And that's it. And we got our hat clip. Look at that, out of the way. Actually, I should be mounting it this way. And what's nice about this is, again, away from the line of sight of your rear view mirror. So you can still see everything in the rear while being able to quickly grab your hat if it's raining like how it is now outside. So I'm very happy with this design and you can also hook it on like this. Also, I just wanted to highlight guys, this is a pretty rigid molly panel and this is my girlfriend's two pound weight. And as you can see, I have it hooked on the edge and this thing's not flexing really at all. So most CB radios are probably about two to three pounds. And as a matter of fact, we'll hook on another two pound weight just to highlight the weight capacity of, the, of this thing. All right, staying. This is four pounds hooked on to the far edge of the molly panel. As you can see, like there's really no visible flexing at all. So this is definitely going to be able to hold most CB radios. And if you do purchase this, show me what, what you guys come up with when it comes to configuring all your accessories. And the first round of orders actually came out this past Monday. So that's why I wanted to push this video out to at least show some of you guys how you can quickly mount and unmount any of the accessories you want. So it allows you 100% customization on how you want to lay out your whole equipment. So I actually got a few requests already with further customization. So if you have any sort of ideas that you think you want to implement, whether it be moving some of these lights to the back, increasing the amount of molly holes towards the front, or if you have anything that you want to mount that's not very typical, just send me an email. I'll, I'll link that down below too, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. And with rapid manufacturing, like what I have with 3D printing, plasma cu cutting with a CNC machine, it allows me to kind of quickly do this and not have to worry too much about the length of time for research and development. So yeah, please let me know what your thoughts are below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below as well. So 
we'll close this out with the full b-roll of this molly panel fully decked out as you see right now